And it is Ask the Judge time once again. Today, Judge Courtney R. Keene has joined us as we get into some important questions. So great to see you, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having for me. Thanks for coming by. One of our viewers asked if a parent gave up his or her parental rights because they were, at that time, not doing what was best for the child. Then later, they got their life back on track. Could custody be given back to that parent? No, it can't. Once a parent parents' rights are terminated, it is final. And once the order has become final, so I should say 30 days after that order huh. of termination is signed, it is final because typically an adoption will follow. Right, yeah. Yeah, so now in the situation... In the, the, in the ideal situation, yeah. If they had only signed an affidavit of relinquishment where they give up their rights, if they just signed the affidavit and has not proceeded to a final order, uh -huh. sometimes those affidavits can be revocable uh -huh. or they can be revoked. But sometimes those affidavits also say that they are not revocable and cannot be revoked. Mm, so, uh, but once it's proceeded to a final order, um, that's it. Wow. Thank yeah. you so much for that information. Secondly, I have flood insurance and my home flooded in Imelda, but I have not filed my proof of loss with my insurance company. Is there a deadline when I need to file the proof of loss? And what happens if I don't? Yes, there is a deadline, and I'm so glad this question was asked. Uh -huh. um, it is 60 days from the date of loss, which was September 17th. Yeah. So we're coming up in about 10 days right. on that deadline. Right. You have to file uh, your proof of loss with your insurance adjuster 60 days from the date of loss and also have your supporting documentation with that as well. So your bids from your contractors, right. what it would take to repair the place. Wow. And a yes. lot of people are going to miss that. They've been so busy putting things back together, thinking they have time. I know. And if you miss it, it's lethal. It's done. Now in Harvey, they had extended that deadline, but they have not done that in this storm. Mm -hmm. So right now it's 10 days away. Spread the word. Spread the word. Tell your friends and your family. Finally tonight, does the city have the power to pick and choose what properties such as vehicles, are to be removed from taxpayers' property without their consent. What happens to these vehicles? Generally, Kevin, the answer is no. There's only certain types of situations where it could happen. Say you have a homeowners association uh, that governs a neighborhood, uh -huh. and they have a rule that says you can't have a particular type of vehicle parked in front of your residence, like a motor home or mm -hmm, something like mm -hmm. that. In that situation, that vehicle could be removed without the owner's consent. Now, it's going to require that they provide them written notice is to remove it and that kind of thing yes. but typically the answer is going to be no unless it's like a homeowner uh, association type situation that one threw me off a little <laughs> i was thinking why are they taking the stuff yes. thanks so much we appreciate you being here as always if you have any questions for our ask the judge segment head on over to 12newsnow.com slash ask the judge fill out the form